Justin Shore from the happymedic.com back in the Happy Medic workshop. Got Uncle Bill with me. And today we're going to look at a package from IsraeliFirstAid.com. I was going through my emails, came across theirs that said, what kind of trauma equipment do you use in the U.S.? We're curious to see if you want to use some of our stuff. And I said, while I can't use it on the patients at work, I can definitely share it with my audience, maybe even some of my uh, law enforcement community that sometimes has to buy their own equipment for their self-care kits. They asked me what I wanted, and I said, why don't you guys tell me what I need? Next thing you know, care package from IsraeliFirstAid.com. Let's check it out. All right, very excited about this. All the way from Israel, that's one of the selling points that they have, guys, is that this trauma equipment is coming from the home of where they do trauma care very well. And you know what? I almost need some good stuff to be able to get in here. This traveled halfway across the world to come and see what we can work with today. And let's see what we've got, shall we? Ah, looks like a seventh generation cat tourniquet. Very useful. Oh, guys, this is exciting from Rip Shears. You remember them from long ago. Um, shoot, almost eight or ten years ago, we started using the Rip Shears. This is a specific Rip Shears holster, if you could take a look at that. One of the things that the folks in the firehouse got nervous about was me sitting down uh, and moving around the equipment with my Rip Shears hanging out. That's going to be a lot of fun to test out. Rip Shears RS2 Tactical. This is going to be a nice set of rip shears. You know what I think I'm going to do is compare these uh, just design-wise uh, to the ones that I'm using. And if they're very similar, maybe I'll give a, uh, do a giveaway for this one. What do you think? We'll see about that. Set those right there. Holy cow, guys, there's a lot of stuff in here from IsraeliFirstAid.com. Oh, an emergency bandage, six inch hemorrhage control bandage. These are gonna be very good for the active shooter kits, the LEOs in the audience, and a lot of EMS guys that don't get their own stuff provided to them by their employer. This is gonna be some fun stuff to talk about. Oh, some Celex. You need to have this in your kit as well. And, oh, it looks like a little uh, self-care kit to put it all in. This is gonna be a lot of fun, guys. We might give this whole thing away to a lucky viewer uh, here at the happymedic.com and on YouTube. So make sure you follow along uh, down in the comments and make sure you go to the blog at thehappymedic.com and see what we put together. Oh, there's something else hiding in there. Let's see. Oh, very cool. A nice patch. You know, the universal working at the airport. Uh, a lot of people say that the uh, star of life doesn't really mean much, but you put a cross on something, somebody knows. Hey man, that's for first aid. So very excited to try all this stuff out. Uh, thank you so much to IsraeliFirstAid.com for sending this over. This is going to be a great addition uh, to someone's kit and I see uh, lives being saved with this equipment. So stay tuned for some reviews and we'll get back to you. Again, don't forget to follow along. Make sure you subscribe for new videos and follow along thehappymedic.com.